Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm King Dino. This is Adam, my partner, and Twyla, who's getting her seatbelt on right now. We are heading out the road. We've only got one night away this weekend. So we thought we'd head back up towards Longwood, but we're gonna be trying to find a place to stay in, what was it called, Adam? It was Euroa. Euroa, that was it, wasn't it? Um, and we might go a little bit higher to check out a few other things. We, when we were in Longwood last time, I took a picture of a poster um, that had all different things you can see around the area, and we didn't quite get to them all, so I thought we might tick a few more of them off and uh, see what we get up to. But anyway, all right, well, let's hit the road and get going. You ready, Twyla? It's gonna yeah. be a hot one. I think it is gonna it's be 30, very hot. 36. 36 degrees. <sighs> Thank God I brought the fans. So we've just pulled over at the first rest spot. Along the way, Adam has gone out to grab some, hopefully some nuts from this stand here. It's got fruit and all the rest of it. This is one of those places that they have signs all the way along the freeway and it's really cute. Like they have all little things like, we've got FPOS, um, Victoria, you did a pulling for our cherries and all this and you read them along and you think it's quite amusing. We don't normally stop, but um, Adam's like, you know what, we'll mind some cashew nuts. So we are getting them. There's Adam there lined up. There he is. And Twyla, she just finished crying because... She normally cries when Adam's not in the car with us. But yeah, she's still crying now. She's looking at the view, the view out there. Anyway, we'll see what Adam comes back with. It's a scorcher. Yeah, it's bloody hot. So what'd you end up getting? Uh, bloody flies. Um, I end up getting some strawberries and a mixed bag of nuts, so cashews, oh, pistachios. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's a mixed bag, look at that, heaps, yum. Yeah. So it's definitely busy there as you can see. So we just arrived to Euroa, we're just getting ready to um, head across to just uh, one of the parks in town. Um, to let Twyla go for a toilet run, but we just where we parked, they've actually got a Tesla charging um, station and there's about six or seven of them lined up, I'll show you on the way across to the park. But um, I've never seen this many Teslas in one place. So we've just found this and there's a bit of a heritage walk so you can see all the old buildings. So we're gonna go, we're gonna head up to information first, grab some pamphlets and then we'll have a walk around here.
We just finished eating some yummy pies, so absolutely beautiful, from the Mawson's Bakery. Now we just come down to where a bank used to be. So this used to be the bank here, but they've used the old bricks to make this new building. And um, where this bank was, was where Ned Kelly, this was one of the ones they robbed back in, what year was it? Nine, 1878, 100 years before I was born. Yeah, worked that one out. Um, 21 still. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so they they robbed this bank here. So it's pretty cool. So there's a whole heap of these signs as you walk around town and just tells you about the different buildings and, and it's basically a walk you do and you can go around and get all the information. We still haven't even made it to the information center yet. So this is a colonial bank from the 1889. Um, it's a bit derelict now, but uh, it was the ANZ bank uh, until 50 years ago, um, which has now been relocated to in town. Uh, but this building is an example of uh, boom classicism architecture, uh, where you've got the um, architectural features uh, imposed over the red brickwork. So we finally made it. Made it to Mount Wombat. Uh, I was going to say Chuka. <laughs> wrong town. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, so looking out here, the town is down, right down there. And it um, looks like they've got their phone towers slash lookout tower up there. I don't know if they're looking out for fires or... They're probably watching us right now. Yeah, they're probably watching us. We Twyla, she's panting. We'll have to get her back to the van soon because it's a stinking hot day. And, and recommend a four wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, definitely recommend a four wheel drive coming we'll up see here. See <laughs> oh, we'll film it going on the way down. I had to really concentrate on the way up here, but it was pretty scary stuff. <laughs> um, there was just a few parts of it that were really four wheel drivey, and we obviously don't drive a four wheel drive. So, anyway, for now, enjoy the view of Mount Wombat. So we've parked our van down there and we've had to walk the rest of the way because the hill was so steep coming up, this was the hill here, that the van wouldn't make it all the way up. And then I had to reverse all the way back down the hill, all the way down, to there and turn around ah it was very very scary but we got through it didn't we yeah <laughs> and we hit the gutter and we hit the gutter which is a ditch which is a pretty big ditch and when you've got water tanks under your van you've got to keep that in mind <laughs> yeah right. so anyway risky business but this is the other side of the hill so you can see even further you can see mountains all the way over there but yeah pretty cool it's taking it all in. So this is the steep hill that we're talking about. Look how steep it is, it goes all the way down. It's crazy. And then I'll take you over to show you the gutter that we nearly, well, I think one of our tires fell into it and they came back out. But yeah, as you can see, that's it there. <laughs> so that was pretty. How cool is this truck? That's awesome.
That's the hill we try to get up. Woof. He got it up there. There we go. How awesome is that? <laughs> we um we just booked it in. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we paid him to do that. <laughs> So as Dean was saying, we had a bit of a rough ride on the way up, so we'll um, show you uh, that rough ride on the way down. just pulled over on the side of the road and I can tell you right now look at the view it looks beautiful but besides the view <laughs> we're actually just looking up where we're thinking about camping tonight we thought we'll go check it out um have you found anywhere Adam oh yawning oh, okay well and Twyla's been such a good little girl look at you she's, she's cooled down now of yeah. all places actually back to Longwood back to Longwood. Mm. Wasn't there anything close to here? Free camping? No, that's it. That's it? That's it. Because you've got outside Creighton and Balmutton East. You need to apply for those permits to park. They're on the freeway, the other side of the freeway. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Or Merchant Race Course. Try that. Oh, maybe give that one a go. All right, let's try Merchant Race Course. Lock it in, Dano. Yes. We just got to Merton Reserve where we're staying tonight. We've just popped our fly blinds up to keep the flies out because the doors are open because it's been hot, but it's starting to cool down. We've had a bit of rain come through. And, um, but it's really nice. Um, it's actually a racing course. So <laughs> if you have a look at this, have a look at that how cool is that so then you get this great view of the clouds coming over and the storms coming but um yes yeah, so it looks really nice and then they do have toilets here so you can um use a bathroom if you need to and also they have a barbecue and some table and chairs so we probably won't even get our table and chairs out tonight we won't need to and if you are staying here they ask for a gold um a gold donation, a uh, gold coin donation, I should say. Um, and it's just over here. So you just on the pole, just pop your money in there. So we'll pop some money in there later. Adam's got some notes that we can pop in there. But um, yeah, so that's it. So we're settled in here tonight. We're actually going to do some editing for YouTube. Um, so we thought, what a great place to do it, just on this table out here. Uh, um, or if it starts raining, we might head in the van bit earlier anyway got to start thinking about what we're going to cook for dinner what do you think of this place Adam <laughs> I wasn't expecting you feeling good. <laughs> good. I've got to shake in my pocket for the treats oh Adam's been training Twyla. Not to bark at bicycles or elderly men. Yeah, so when we go camping, we don't want her barking at people. So he's had treats in his pocket all day that he gives her every time a bike goes past and she doesn't bark. So, and so far so good. She's not doing too bad, yeah, but working. she'll probably prove us wrong later when she starts barking at someone. <laughs> all right, let's take her for a walk. So we're just busy editing next week's video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
we thought why not use this time at night when we're chilling out to get this done rather us doing it during the week when we're busy um twilight has got her fan happening um she's down here and we've got another fan on her here to keep her cool because we're free camping we can't plug our aircon in so we just use our electric fans which is brilliant and we'll use these tonight too if it's still warm but otherwise we're just watching the sun go down it looks so beautiful out there it's just so nice sitting back relaxing and um yeah almost time for a wine <music> So tonight on the menu we're cooking hot dogs. These are already pre-cooked so I'm just warming them up. Got some onion, got some sauerkraut, got this really nice chutney to go on there and chutney and some cheese and we've got some rolls happening. Adam's still editing so tea's coming up soon mister. And um, yeah so almost ready to eat these now. So we're all packed up and we're ready to hit the road again. Check out my cup. One of my good friends, Rob, got me this a little while ago from the uh, NT. How cool is it? I can't show you the whole word because some people might get offended. But it's like, see you anyway, in the NT. So, oh, thank you, Rob. Adam's outside just about to donate some money. Um, and then we need to take it off. Look at Twyla, she's such a good girl. Sometimes, sometimes. So you just pretty much pop your money in there. Thank you for the next day. We enjoyed it. And uh, Twyla did too. And uh, yeah, now let's hit the road again. So yesterday on the way to where we went and camped last night, we passed through a little tiny town called Strathbogie. This is it here. Check out this water here. It looks so beautiful. We saw a dog and some people swimming here yesterday. So we've just taken Twilight in for a little bit of a dip. She absolutely loved it. Now we're just gonna walk up to the street. At the end of the street, it seems like there's a cafe there where all the cyclists go past and pick up coffee. There's a lot of cycling here. So I'm gonna go there, grab a coffee, have a walk through, have a look at the town. Um, like I said, very small town. And um, yeah, and then come back here and maybe enjoy a little bit more of this water.
They don't like her. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Hello, Mr. Llamas. Twyla's so excited. She wants to play with them. She thinks they're her breed. Well, you got the same colouring and the same haircut. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Twyla. So we just got back from having um, some morning tea at Strag Strathbone Kids Cafe. Um, it was really cute. They had all the locals there. Um, one lady even gave uh, Twyla a treat and gave another dog a treat. She comes there, I think, every day and does that to all the people passing through. But there was heaps of locals. They sell local produce there. So definitely a place you should go to if you pop past here. And we wouldn't have found this place if we hadn't been driving through um, to where we camped last night. So yeah, it's just these little places when you're driving along the road, you're fine. But anyway, we're gonna head back to, oh, where are we going back to? Yoroa and um, finish our day there. So we've just come from Aroa's information center. There's flies everywhere. And um, they told us about this awesome place. Check this out. Now you can swim down here. There is a great photo opportunities. It is so cool. There's a lot of families down here. Um, but unfortunately, she mustn't have heard when I said we had a dog. We've come down here to have a bit of a swim with Twyla. And unfortunately, there's signs saying no dogs. So we're gonna head up to the car park. I've just come down and have a look myself. But we're gonna head up to the car park, have some lunch. And I'm gonna let Adam come down and have a look. And um, there's a bit extra over here that I haven't seen yet, but I might head up and go over there and have a look at that next. But yeah, unfortunate because um, we would have loved to swim here with Twyla. But anyway, we'll find another place another time. Anyway, let's go up and have some lunch. Back in the van having our lunch and Twyla we've got a fan on her keeping her cool mm -hmm. and Adam's having his lunch and then we've got another fan up here keeping us cool as well because it is hot mm. you gonna go down and look at the water no <laughs> why not <laughs> can't be bothered. It's too hot. <laughs> you can watch it on next week's YouTube <laughs> anyway we're gonna have mm. our lunch and I think we might head home Mm -hmm. Been a good getaway. Yeah, no, it's been good. One night away, it's been nice. Well guys, thanks for watching this episode. It has been so much fun. Twyla has literally fallen asleep. This happens every time we go away, we get back and she'll sleep for 24 hours. But anyway, if you enjoy our episodes, please do me a favor. When the little circle comes up, touch that and it will subscribe you to our channel. Otherwise, go down below, like, subscribe, tell everyone about us. And until next week, stay safe and we'll see you soon.